Alexa, what's happening today? I think Frank's little workshop should open the road wireless go and see what it's like. Okay. Welcome back to my workshop. Now today I've got a special treat for myself. Uh, I bought, well I haven't bought, it was bought for me, a wireless go wireless microphone set. Now these are really good apparently. Let's hope so. So why did I get these? Right, so this is my usual setup. Uh, I have a camera or my phone on a tripod and I have my microphone attached on this really long lead. Now the problem is, what happens is when I move away from it, I end up pulling my camera. Okay, this has already cost me a phone, which was a few hundred quid, uh, and also a couple of tripods. So I wanted to get a wireless go set. Right, so what have we got here? We've got a wireless go. Now this is the wireless go, the original one, not the wireless go 2, uh, which I think is a little bit more expensive, but it's got a few more functions. But this should be more than enough for me. Uh, I was lucky enough that I mentioned this, that I wanted one of these to Mrs. Little Workshop, and uh, it was my birthday, so I managed to get one. Yay! Right, okay, uh, what does it say? It says it's a compact wireless microphone system. Uh, it's by Rode, which I believe are an Australian company, uh, but a lot of YouTubers use these. Uh, this should be good in the workshop because there isn't the wires dangling all over machinery. Uh, okay, it says uh, ultra compact wireless built-in microphone, 2.4 gigahertz, so that shouldn't interfere with anything. Uh, it's got a very pretty lady on the back. Okay, uh, and in the kit you apparently get the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, two fur windshields, two USB cables, one SC cable, and a pouch. Right, so let's get this open and have a look at these things. Right, okay, there's the pouch. Very nice. I think they're both in there. Uh, you've got two dead mice. Two USB cables and the SC cable. Book of words and a little bag of silicon. Oh, they're tiny. Oh, they're really small. Okay, so you get the two little units here. They are absolutely tiny. Just to give you an idea of how big they are. Okay. 40, 40 mil across. It's quite tiny, isn't it? Yeah, square. And they're only 10 mil thick. So really small. Uh, so they shouldn't be too clunky to wear. Uh, right, okay, so this one is the transmitter. So that's the one you actually wear on yourself. And this is the receiver. Um, now you wear it by putting it on this clip here. Okay, I'll show you that. And this one here, you can either clip it onto something else near your camera or your phone, whatever you're using. Uh, but I actually thought about this because this clip, okay, is the right size for a cold shoe, okay, on here. So if you're using some sort of DSLR, okay, this just opens up like this and then clips on, yeah. So then you end up with that looking very much like it's part of the camera. Okay, which is good, but I can't use that because this hasn't got a sound input, so that's useless, but most DSLRs have got sound input. Right, okay, so I've just opened the instructions. Uh, this is the kind of instructions I like. It's just a load of pictures. Uh, all the words on the back, just about, they're about some regulations in North America and the usual stuff, don't swallow it and don't do that sort of stuff. Okay. Not much in the way of instructions, so we're going to rely on these pictures. Okay, and these pictures basically show you about the device. Okay, it says that's a link, so that must be the link light there. Uh, then the power light, the microphone on the top here. Uh, okay, and then you've got, and also you've got another input here for a lab mic. 
Okay, we'll try that in a moment. Uh, then nothing else on that one, apart from here, which is a power button. Okay, on the receiver, power button again, uh, little display. And also on the bottom here, you've got a DB button. Uh, now apparently you can attenuate it or increase the amplitude of the signal by pushing that. It's got three settings, I believe. Uh, now here is obviously a link button. Right, okay, and it shows you that on these pictures. Uh, right, to set it up, you basically, let's follow the pictures. One, push this button for three seconds. Oh, okay, displays come up. While well, it's doing its thing, uh, second one, on the receiver, it says push this button for three seconds, two, three. Okay, you've got two little blue lights here. Oh, and I can already see they're paired. Hello, one, two, three. So it's looking like this is already picking up my voice through this microphone. That's good. And let's put it a bit closer. Hello, one, two, three. Yeah. So pairing is a doddle. They come prepared. Prepared? Prepared. Okay, and then it literally says here, you just stick it on your very swanky jumper. So that looked fairly easy. Uh, right, now what I have to do is obviously connect the receiver to whatever I'm recording on. So it's going to be on the phone. So this point here is where this lead goes. And then this plugs into your phone or your camera, whatever you're recording on. Okay. Uh, charging, it looks like it's just a, a USB-C, I believe. And that's for charging. As I say, it should take seven hours uh, of use before these are flat. Uh, right. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and plug this into my phone and see if they actually work. Okay, so my current setup, I'm using this microphone. Uh, I haven't started using these yet. Uh, but to wear these, uh, this is obviously the transmitter. Okay, so the one without the screen. Uh, it's got a little clip on it. And all I'm going to do is clip it on myself. Okay, so that feels a bit loose but you can actually plug it inside as well so it can't be seen as much okay looks like i'm gonna to have to start wearing some heavier t-shirts but this is how you can wear it it doesn't feel like it's too bad okay and i haven't got any of the wires that go with this right while we're here the wind breaks okay obviously not going to use these much in the workshop because uh, it's not very windy in here and basically on the back here, you've got two little tiny clips. Can we focus? Two little tiny clips. And they clip onto these two little tiny holes here. Now the big ones are these, the ones you see on the telly, are called a dead cat. But these are small, so they call them a dead mouse. And that just plugs on like this. Okay, I should imagine if you're in slightly windy, noisy environments, uh, these are probably a benefit. Uh, but in the workshop, I probably won't use these. You never know. Right, let's give them a try. Right, so it's a couple of days later now, uh, and I couldn't get this thing to work. It appeared to be working, but I couldn't connect it to my phone. Now, I've got a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, and when I plugged this lead, which was supplied, okay, into the receiver, and then plugged it into the phone, uh, it just didn't work. Now, the reason for that is, on this connector, this is the one that's supplied, okay, you've got three three pins okay one two three now that isn't compatible with my phone so what i had to do was order one of these which is an sc7 link lead okay this is actually a road one uh, this was about nine pounds okay and what that gives you instead of having a black end on either end with three pins okay what you get is a black end on one end with three pins and on the other end you get a grey end which has got four pins 
Okay, so that's got four pins. So this is the one you need uh, for an Android phone. Now, a lot of them are advertised as being for an iPhone, uh, but it's the one I've been using and it works. So, back to the original setup. I plug the black end into the receiver. Okay, that then mounts on to my phone. Let me show you that now. Right, so now I've plugged that in and the phone has told me it's recording audio through the headset. Okay, the setup I've got is this. Let me just record myself. The setup I've got is this. Okay, so I've got it mounted on the top. I've got my link lead plugged in. That's the S7 link lead. And this is me talking to myself holding a camera. Okay, so this audio you're listening to now is with the Rode microphone. Now, just as a quick comparison, uh, what I'm going to do now is plug in this lavalier microphone into the phone. So if I keep on talking, that should now be nothing. That's through the phone. Now the lavalier microphone is plugged in. So you're now listening to this. Okay, so this is with the lavalier microphone. And this is with the Rode microphone. Is it any power? Okay, so just a quick review on the phone there. That seems a lot better. A bit too loud, maybe. Uh, right, so there's a dB or a decibel setting. There's three different settings. Uh, let me show you on the receiver here. So this, you're actually listening to the audio through this now. Okay, on the bottom here, okay, there's a little, looks like a volume button, a uh, volume scale. Okay, but when you push the dB button on the bottom here, okay, you got three settings, one, two, three. Now, let's see what they're like. So this is recording on maximum dB, minimum dB, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next dB, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And maximum dB, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, what's the point of that? Well, I suppose if you're using some noisy machinery and you don't want it to be too loud um, or you don't want your voice to be distorted uh, then I suppose you can adjust the dB levels um, to match the video. Okay so I'm going to quickly review that and see if that made any difference. Okay so I've quickly reviewed that uh, and it appeared that the uh, middle setting was a bit more suitable for this microphone at this distance. Okay uh, right so next if I wanted to use this, but with my original lavalier mic, can I do that? Let's try. Okay, so the audio you're listening to at the moment is through the microphone on the unit itself. Now, I've got my other microphone still here, not plugged in. Uh, I want to plug that into here. Now, I've got to be careful here because this has obviously got the four sections on it. So what I need there's a little converter here, okay? This goes from the four sections to the three sections. Now these are called TRRS or TRS, uh, I'm not too sure, um, but four sections, three sections. That's a little converter. These are probably a couple of quid, okay? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this into here and then you'll be able to hear me through this microphone. Okay, uh, right, looking at my level gauge there, it's giving me an indication that what you're hearing is from this microphone. Now, does that work? I think it does. Let me just walk over here. So you're still listening to this, but I'm not actually connected to the phone. Right, so I've now got the uh, this unit plugged into my lav mic here. Uh, why would you want to do that? The reason if you want to hide this away somewhere or put it in your pocket, let's put it in my back pocket. Okay, then it's all out of the way. You can tuck your wires out of the way. You haven't got a big microphone here. Not that it's very big anyway. Um, so I'm now talking, you're hearing it through the lav, through the transmitter to the receiver. So if I'm doing something over here with the hammer, okay, there's nothing gonna be catching 
and I'm not going to be pulling my phone off of the tripod. Right, so, so far, so good. I'm really impressed with this. Uh, now, let's have a look at range. Now, these are supposed to be good for oh, hundreds of meters, uh, but I'm only ever going to use them in the workshop. So I've now got the road mic here with my little dead mouse on it. Okay, I'm at the far end of the workshop. Now, what I'm going to do is walk away from it and make sure the sound doesn't drop out. Now, I'm only ever going to use it in the workshop, as I say, uh, but let's just have a quick look and see what the range is like. So. Got my door open. Uh, right, there should be some good sound still coming out. Now, these are obviously line of sight, so you should still be able to see me and hear me because this is still facing the camera. If I turn around, I don't know whether you still get the signal. You should do because it's still close. Okay, now let's walk across the road. Now, obviously, I'm walking out in the street now, so it might make myself look a bit silly. I presume you can still see me. Oh, there's a the traffic coming. Yeah, I've picked the busiest time of the day. Right, now across the road. Now, hopefully you can still hear me. I'm never gonna be this far away from the camera. Um, hopefully there's no signal dropping out. And I'm now gonna walk back in because there's some people sitting in their garden and I'm making myself look really silly. Okay, so if that works, that should be quite impressive. Uh, let's see what the audio quality was like. Now I can't see because it's bright outside. Right, well, I don't know about you. I've just reviewed the video there and uh, I'm mighty impressed. Okay, as I say, I'm never going to be using them outside the workshop, but you never know. Uh, the range seems fantastic. The quality didn't drop out. Uh, now these are still on the original charge when I got them out of the box. Okay, so I haven't charged them yet. But if you do want to charge them, the uh, little USB leads that you get with it, you get one per unit, okay? And they're just standard USB to USB-C, I think it is. And you literally, this is the one I'm talking in, okay? You literally just plug the USB-C into the unit and then plug that into a USB, like you would to charge your phone, okay? Leave them charging overnight. These should last seven hours. Uh, obviously, I haven't tried it yet because I've only just got them. Uh, but I think they're going to be great. Now, there's been some reports that these little furry dead cats, dead mice, fall off. Uh, but I think when you put them on, um, providing they're sitting on properly, um, yeah, it shouldn't fall off. I don't know whether I use these in the workshop because it's not really windy in here. All right, let's clip it back on. I hope this has been of some use. Don't forget to buy this if you're going to use it with an Android phone uh, because otherwise you're going to do what I did and waste hours of time trying to get it to work. Right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome back to my workshop. <clears throat> Which is a wireless go, wireless mic set right uh can you hear me okay uh, let's see if you can see oh funky right so there's my there's my phone with me oh freaky uh, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. All right, you can still hear me. Right, I'm now going to go outside. So I think you can still hear me now. I'm now walking in the street. Yeah, there's no one about. If I can. So I'll start that again.